morning, everyone. This is Bremster, and today I am fortunate enough, from my perspective at least, to come to you with a puzzle by Directionary called Parity Thermos. This is a puzzle that Directionary submitted to me using my submission guidelines, so I'd like to thank him for that one, and to point out to anyone who would like to send me a puzzle that those exist, and I will provide, there are links to my submission guidelines below, and I will try and remember to throw a link above as well to um, the video where um, you can see my submission guidelines, and there'll be a link below that as well to where to find them. I want to make it as easy as possible for people to submit either their own puzzles or a recommendation where I can reach out to the person who created the puzzle and ask if they don't mind. Um, I've also got permission from a lot of setters to just do their puzzles. So if you do have a recommendation and you send it through, it's possible I can just add it to my queue. So please do that. Um, but let's have a look at this puzzle. This is Parity Thermos by Directionary, and I've set the thermos to kind of try and match the parity colouring we did in our recent um, polarising Sudoku pack, which is all about parity. And they may look a bit weird, but we'll see how it goes. Having a bit of fun with creating the look of a puzzle um, when I have permission from the setter is also something I like to do. Um, Anyway, um, so how does this puzzle work? So we've got normal Sudoku rules. In every box, in every row, and in every column, the digits one to nine must be placed without repetition. These are thermos, and the, what that means is from the bulb of the thermo to the tip of a thermo, digits must strictly increase. So digits will rise along the thermo, so this digit will be higher than this digit, this digit will be higher than this, and this will be higher than this. So they will always go up. They do not have to be sequential, uh, sorry, they do not have to be consecutive, but they do have to be um, increasing, strictly increasing. Um, what this puzzle adds on top of that is every thermo will either be entirely odd or entirely even. So um, all of the digits on this thermo will either be all even or all odd. Um, so that should provide quite a bit of constraint. So let's give this a shot. You can try it on the link below. So... How do we start this puzzle? So is there, so all of these four long thermos, if they're even, are going to be two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight, two, four, six, eight. Is that, there's no five long, which is going to give us a set of odds. So how do we break into the puzzle? So if these were all even, these would be all odd. So these would be even, these would be even. If those are all even, those would be odd. That would give me all of the odds for that column. Those would be even, which means those would all be odd. Wait a minute. Oh, that's quite clever. Again, I sound surprised when a setter does something clever. What I'm trying to say here is, uh, yeah, no, I'm never being insulting. I feel like I'm being insulting when I say that. All of these, this is six cells that see those three cells. So those can't be the same. Because if these were the same, these would all be the same. And that would mean, so if these were all even, we would have six evens in this box. But even if they were all odd, we would have six odd. So these have to include at least one of a different thing. Which means they can't be even. Because if they were all even, these would all be odd. These would all be odd. And we would have six odds in the box. That's very clever. So those there are odd. So 
one three three five five seven 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 nine. Now, if those are odd, oh, that could be odd. And that could be odd. But I've only got one more odd in this row, and it has to go over here. Otherwise, all of these are even. So these are both even. So this is even. So now I've got two even. So these are odd. So these are even. That makes this odd. So this is the same. This is one, three. And this would be three, five, except it can't be because I've got a one, three pair. So this is five, seven, and nine. That five makes this three, which makes this one, which makes this three. That's a very cool break in. This is only two cells long. So these are triples, two, four, six, four, six, and four, six, and eight. Don't know anything about that yet. So the one over here is a five, a seven, or a nine. So that can't be odd. Because if this was five, seven, or nine, this would go five, seven, nine, 11. That's not gonna work. So that is even. And this is a four cell long even. This is two, four, six, and eight. So this is not two anymore. So this is not four anymore. Two is in here. That could still be even, maybe. So if this is, this could go five, seven, nine, or this could be seven or, oh, this could be actually five, seven or nine, and that could be the other odd. But one of those is even. This could be four and that could be two and that could be, yeah, there's, hmm. these are all odd though, because I've now got all the evens. And if that is odd, these are all odd. And now I've got five odds in the box. These are all even, which makes these even. I've now got all four, four evens in the column. So those are odd. If these were odd, then I'd have six odds. These are even. And this is two, four, four, six, or six, eight. And there's a six there. So this is eight, this is four, this is two. So this here is six, eight. So these are two, four, and we know the order. That's four and that's two. So this is six, this is eight, and this is actually four and two. That eight makes that six and that, wow. One and three have to go in here, but the only place I can put one in this box now is right there. Can't put three there, this is three, and this is five or seven, which means this is the nine, and this is seven or nine. Except it's seven because of the nine right there. Okay, this is flowing very quickly. One of those is a six, one of the, so this is a five, six pair. If this is a five, this is a one or a three. If it's a six, it's a two. This is four, six, and six, eight, except it's not, this is six and eight. These are even because if they were odd, I would have six odds in the box. So this is two, four, four, six, and six, eight, except it's not eight. So this is six, four, and two. That means this is five. So this entire run is odd. And this will be the six, which means this is the two and these are even which means these are all odd. Now, this is seven and nine, that's forced, and these are one, three, and five without that one being a five. So five is in here, which puts five up here. 
I've got to put a two over here or two actually <laughs> I've got to put two over here if I put two there that would have to be a zero and that while being considered even is not a valid Sudoku digit and I can't put two there so that is the two which finishes that off and these are now odd which makes that odd because it's part of the same thermo this has a maximum of seven it has to be seven because it says one three five and nine so this is seven so this is one three or five and these are one three or five that one is not three that one is not five this is such a cool little puzzle four evens so these are all odd that is odd now because while i do have two evens left it would have to go six eight and that would be a problem so those are odd and i've colored all the thermos So this is one, five or seven, and this is five, seven or nine. Hmm. I haven't resolved all the thermos, but I'm pretty close to just being down to Sudoku. So four is in one of those two. Uh, it has to go there. So that is the four. 8 is now forced into there, so that is the 8, and these are odd. And I've broken the puzzle. What do I do wrong there? I've done something horribly wrong. Four has to go right there. That, that's correct. But now I can't place eight in this box. What have I done here? Okay, so I've done something fundamentally wrong ages ago. Oh, much ages ago. Why did I call this five, six? Should I just have made this five, eight? Yeah, I'm going to roll back that far. I'm sorry, everyone. That was a huge mistake on my part. Yes, this should have been 5-8. And now I have to solve all of that again. It was a quick puzzle. I'm really sorry. How many of you were yelling at me for that? So this is 5-8, and now I do not remember what I was doing. So let's try that again. So this is 2-6-8. These have to be even. Um... I now how I can't make these even because I'd have too many evens in the column. So this is the five, this is the eight, this is the two. Those are odd, so seven and nine. Now I've got to put four in one of those two. Now this is two, four, four, six, and I can't put an eight there. So this is six, four, and two, which means that's not the four. This is the four. And now I need to put a six in here somewhere and the six has to go there. Okay, so that is better. Haven't done any of the stuff over here yet, but I can still make those odd because I can't put eight there. And this would have to be six, eight if I made that even. So I'm not quite caught up. Well, these are one, three, and five without that being five. Um, this now has to be an 8, which is the last thing in the box, and this is a 1, 3. These are all 1, 3, and 9. That can't be the 9, so this is a 9. This probably flows better now that I haven't broken it. Um, these are 1, 3, and 5, so these is a 7, 9 pair, which are both odd, and these are 1, 3, and 5 without that one being 3. Um, that three here is actually resolving a lot of it. One, three, one, no one. These are, of course, odd. I have to put a six in one of those two. 
So two and four have to go up here. So two is in one of those two, four is in one of those two, which may, of course means all of those are odd, which I think I had before. But let's not dwell on the past. Now, I did have to put a two down here, and that's right, I had to put a two across here because of the twos that I already have. I can't put it there, and if I put it there, that would be a zero. So that's the two for the row. And that means these are both odd. This is seven or nine. This is a seven because it sees the others. That's right. And this is one, three or five, which means that is odd. And now I've got the coloring in the thermos back. And these are one, three, five. That one is not five. That one is not three. Okay. So I think I'm caught up to where I was, but without the six debacle. It shall officially be called the six debacle. Um, eight has to go eight in this column. So there's an eight there and there's two eights looking at those. So this has to be the eight. So that is useful. Now I've got to put a four in. That can't be. So I've got two, six and eight. That can't be a four. So that is odd. So this is one or five. Now I've got to put two, four, and six into those cells, which means six has to go in one of those. Actually, six is right there. That's all that's left. So now I've only got to put two and four into those cells. So four is in one of those two, which means that's not the four, and we get the four in the top row, which I could have got by just counting the odds, but since when have I been efficient? And two has to go there now because of those twos looking up. So that is the two, which means this is not the two, this is the two. This is a very cool puzzle. And that's not four because of that. So that is four, which is even, this is odd. I now have five odds in the column, so those are even, which have to be six and eight. This eight resolves it, six and eight. Four is in one of the four is right there by Sudoku, and those are odd. I now have five odds, so that has to be the six. This is not the six and is odd, and I have all the coloring. I think I've also resolved the entire even half of the puzzle, slightly under half. The even four ninths of the puzzle. Okay, so where do I want to look now? One, three, five, seven, nine. So these are one, three, and five because that's all that's left in the row, giving me a one, three, five triple. So these are seven and nine, and that nine resolves the order. Uh, that is not the five, so I've got a one, three pair, so that is the five. There is no five there. One, three, five, nine. This is a seven. This is a nine. This is a seven. These are one, three, five. That one is not a three. That is a one, five pair. So this is a seven, nine, and that seven makes that the nine and that the seven. So this is a one five, but there's a five there. So this is the one, this is the five. There is no five there. Uh, that's not a one. So this is three, five, nine. There is no nine there. So this is the nine. And that five, of course, is making that three, that five, that one, that five, that three, that one. Uh, that one is looking down, making that three. This is five, this is one, this is three, this is one, and the final two digits are five and a three. And that was not an hour long, that was me having set the puzzle and then gone and had something to eat and stuff. So that is Parody Thermos by Directionary. That was a really short puzzle, and sorry if you were interested in something a bit longer, but that was a lot of fun. I really like that constraint. I would like to see more of stuff like that. I don't know. You would have to make them a lot shorter or sort of more bent or anything to, I think, make it 
much harder, but I do like the concept of constraints. I wish we'd got this one into the pack. Yeah, it's too late now. Anyway, um, that is a really cool puzzle. Thank you, Directionary, for sending that one through. And um, yeah, I hope you gave that one a shot because that's really good. And if you like puzzles where you can do a lot of coloring about odd and even and playing around with parity, there are 50 of them. Well, 49. Don't try amphitheater unless you're a little bit crazy. That puzzle was possibly shouldn't have gone into the pack. And the polarizing Sudoku puzzle pack, there will be a link to that in the description. Um, and there's the feedback on that has been mostly exceptional. Amphitheater, yeah. Hmm. I can only blame myself for that one. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, good luck with your solving.